very real threat of an East Coast port shutdown. Tens of thousands of workers could go on strike next week if a union contract agreement isn't reached. How will this affect you, especially with the Port of Virginia in our backyard? Ten on your side's Brett Hall has more for us tonight. Brett. Regina, the Port of Virginia has announced detailed plans on how exactly they will begin shutting down this coming Monday if the Longshoremen's Union doesn't reach a deal with the Maritime Alliance. In this case, the alliance is representing the ports. But it's how long any potential shutdown lasts that an economist says will decide how damaging it could be. It's considered one of the three pillars of our economy in Hampton Roads, the Port of Virginia. Last year alone, 3.3 million units of containers were processed between their Portsmouth and Norfolk terminals. Making it all happen? Thousands of workers. George Berry is one of them. This is how we make a living every day, and it's bringing goods and services to Hampton Roads and the region alike. He's what's known as a trucking agent managing five drivers who help take containers off port property, delivering them wherever they need to go. He's one of thousands who aren't actually part of the Longshoremen's Union that Old Dominion University economist Vinod Argwal says could feel the pinch if no agreement is reached. So obviously what happens at the port affects us all. The port has announced they will halt their operations by 6 p.m. Monday, meaning no trucks, trains, or ships coming in or out. Argawal says the average consumer won't likely notice anything if the strike is short-lived, but prices could start rising if it's prolonged. Among the union's demands is calling for a total ban of automation cranes, gates, and container movements. They also want higher pay. Barry just hopes positive news comes soon to keep the wheels rolling. We, as truckers, we're sort of the pawn in this situation. We don't really have... Uh, a seat at the table when it comes to the bargaining and negotiating of these these contracts. Now Barry says he can tell the port is also taking this very seriously as they've extended operation this coming weekend to try to get as much cargo move before that October 1st deadline. They're usually not open on Sundays. They will be this coming. Important to note at this point there is no impacts to other mar maritime operations such as the coal. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 3 starting off at verse 10. Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Call Holayim La, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom warm to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Isaiah chapter 3, starting off at verse 10. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. And the righteous are the ones that are all here, okay, submitting, uh, taking heed to the instructions of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, changing and transforming their uh, uh, conduct, how they go about things in life, their mind, their thought process, okay, how they uh, walk, what they're involved in, okay, walking uprightly, seeking righteousness, okay, uh, completely uh, being cast uh, away from the uh, doings and philosophies and wines of this world, man. So the righteous is going to eat the benefits that the Lord has promised them uh, in these uh, endeavors and these uh, plagues and uh, uh, afflictions and uh, tremendous, uh, uh, you know, beautiful diabolical dealings that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is bringing upon the earth, man. The righteous are going to be a part of that preservation, okay? Uh, uh, it's going to have that head. It's going to have that protection. It's going to be merry. Okay, it's going to be laughing at death. Okay, you know, and it's going to be uh, 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 shielded from harm, man. Okay, verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. Okay, so that woes is destruction. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given to him. Because we know that the wicked, those that partake in evil deeds and, you know, uh, produce wickedness. And as it says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 13, I believe, okay, those that uh, reward evil, 
evil should not depart from his house, house roughly paraphrasing. Okay, uh, Proverbs uh, 17, verse 13. Okay, and you know, that's your reward. Okay, as it also says in the book of, uh, uh, I believe, Galatians, uh, uh, you reap what you sow. You know, those that sow wickedness shall reap the same, man. Okay, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, uh, you're going to go through uh, affliction, hardship, man. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna feel how the Israelites have felt all these years being in captivity, man. You know, uh, 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 having a um, penny pinch. You know, having to, uh, you know, um, just be at the bottom continuously, man, and have all these things uh, that that uh, were applied in society to make sure that we never uh, increased and that we never um, prospered in in any type of way, man. Okay, so the wicked, you know, it's, it's your time, man. It's your time for those afflictions, those uh, those uh, real realities of your of the downfall of your kingdom to be happening, man. Because this port stuff is is important. Okay, a lot of stuff that we have right here in Babylon the Great. Okay, a lot of stuff comes in from these ports, man. Okay, it's gonna be a very very um hard hit. You know, out of one right desire, it keeps on prospering. Matter of fact, let's grab some more scriptures. Because this is very important, man. This is this is the beginning of the downfall of Babylon the Great, man. Which, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff that, that adds on to the downfall. But this right here, if this continues, which we hope and pray it does, it's going to make things go by quicker. Okay? It's going to start, you know, the, those seditions, you know, uh, people, you know, invading houses for goods. All types of things, man, that we're praying for, man. You know, bring, bring the hellish conditions upon the earth, man. And, you know, Esau could easily, you know, stop this. But again, this is also of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua's prophecy, his will, man. Okay? And this right here, this is in, uh, you know, uh, Tide Water, which is actually called Tide, T-I-D-E, -T Tide. But here in Virginia, we call it Tide Water, okay, which is the seven cities, which is Southern Virginia, which is Hampton, Norfolk, Newport News, okay? And those uh, those um, cities down there in Southern Virginia. Okay, uh, let's grab this. So uh, this is Luke chapter six, and I'm gonna grab verse twenty-five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Okay, because again, the people that are involved in these things that 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 uh, get stuff from the ports, you know, they they lived a lavish life. Okay, they had everything that their heart desired, man. Okay, they were prospering in wealth. Okay, you know, getting stuff from overseas for dirt cheap and then bringing it back to the Americas. And, and, you know, selling things triple price, man. You know, you were able to have that lavish house in the suburbs. You were able to have that, you know, uh, luxur uh, luxurious uh, uh, vehicle, whether it be a, 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 a Maserati, a Mercedes, a Benz, which in actual reality, you're just paying for the name and the technology. Okay. You know, you were able to have all these things, you know, and you were able to have any type of uh, abominable filth that you counted as a... Uh, uh, High quality food, you know, shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, all that bullshit. Okay. Luke 6, verse 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Because the tables are turning, man. Okay. The Lord is going to start making all you people suffer, man. Okay. All you people that prosper uh, 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 from the dealings of uh, uh, these these uh, uh, shipments coming from uh, off the ports. Okay, and also all you you middle class, you so-called middle class people, all you people that have gone against and you know committed all types of evil and and, and, have, and have helped prosper. Okay, so like a help uh, uh, producing and uh, pushing the people of Israel to be at the bottom, man. You know, you know, it's, it's your time to feel those stomach pains. It's your time to feel anguish. It's your time to feel an, an anxiety. It's your time to feel uh, uh, hopelessness, man. Okay. All these things that we felt, it's your fucking time to fill them, man. Okay, period, man. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And we, we hope and pray to see the, the mourning and the weeping, man. Even you two-third Israelites, man, we want to see you weeping more, man. Because you motherfuckers are wicked. Because you, you, you put your trust, your hope, your faith, your belief, your alliance, your dedication to Esau, man. Okay, you fucking heathens, man. You two thirds of our people are heathens, man. And even you Israelites that claim you're in the truth, you're fucking heathens, cause you're doing more than what the Lord told you to do, man. Out here make, making making uh, uh, covenants and contracts to with a five hundred one c three charter, man. 
tax exempt just to have uh, some goddamn uh, 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 comfortability, some re relaxation, man. You receive your constellation, man. You were laughing, calling you know, calling the real prophets bums, okay? And you and you other actual heathens, you know, you were laughing at our conditions. You were laughing at how our women act. You were laughing at how our men act. You were laughing at our downfall, man. Now you're about to feel it. Now you're about to feel what we go through. You're about to feel the pain, the anguish, the oppression, the vexation, everything that we go through. You're about to fucking feel, man. And I hope and pray that this continues, man. I hope and pray that this poor issue continues for, for a long time. I hope it don't ever get, get a resolve, man. Because we want to see you mourn and weep. We want to see you people that, 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 that prosper in this captivity, that, that, that have uh, uh, stores, establishments in our, in our neighborhoods, and that sell stuff to our people dirt, dirt uh, you know, ex expensive. When you get it dirt cheap. Okay, we want to see you fucking uh, 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 Elamites, you Ishmaelites, you Hamites, all you people suffer, man. And you goddamn Edomites, man. Especially you fucking proud, pompous ass Edomites, man. You want to see you weep and mourn, man. Because what's happening? What's happening? Isaiah chapter 19, starting off at verse 14. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Do you hear that? Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. So what's happening, man? Okay, because, you know, you got Jake out there, you know, a protest. And look, man, these people could easily, easily, easily resolve this situation. But again, it's the spirit and will of Yahweh Yahushua for this to occur, for this to happen, man. And for what Yahweh Yahweh and you know, as you heard the Jake say, man, you know, we we don't we don't go to the uh to the table to bargain the prices, the bargain this, the bargain that. And and what's happening right now in society, man? Everything is increasing, everything is going up. Rent, food, water, vegetables, fruit. Okay, and these, these, these jobs, these wages for uh, employment for the plantation ain't fucking increasing. You know, if you rent an apartment. You may get it for a certain price when you first sign that lease, but the next year they increase the fucking rates. This is fucking hell, man. This place is fucking hell. So what happens? You got to fucking move to another establishment that you can afford and hopefully find one that you can afford, man. I'm tired of moving, man. Okay, it's vexing. As a matter of fact, it's a, it's a precept in, it's a, in the Apocrypha that says, you know, it's it's it's, a, it's vexing and it's oppressive for a man that, that has to keep on moving from house to house. And that's what we deal with, man. That's what the fuck we deal with, man. So, Kohalo Yahabah Shem Yahabah Shem Yahabah the Lord is working magic. He's manifesting these scriptures as we speak. Isaiah 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, breach or rush may do. And that's that's completely coming because, you know, they also have uh, these um, machines being built right now to take your position. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they do. They also have vehicles, trucks and everything else that AI and computers drive, man. Robots. And I hope and pray that Esau implements these things ASAP. So he can start to so he can start to show you his true spirit, his true mentality, his true being, who he is. Verse sixteen. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women. Okay, because what is a what is a woman? The woman is the weaker vessel. The woman is delicate. The woman is uh, is not strong as the man. The woman the woman needs to be protected. Okay, because the woman can what be taken advantage of, and that's what's going to happen. A lot of you so-called men that they say you're men, you're going to be as women. You're going to be weak. You're going to be feeble. You're going to be delicate. You're going to be fucking punk ass motherfuckers that you already are. Okay. The, the acting is going to cease. The real you is going to come out. Okay. In that day, your matter of fact, your pussy going to start be showing. Okay. That tampon that you got jammed up there is going to fall out. Okay. Because the real men are the men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Point blank, period. And not no goddamn red pill. 
Okay, no alpha, so-called alpha males. The real red pill and alpha males are the men of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Those that fear the Lord and follow his instructions and those that not try to make their own path, their own destiny. That's bullshit. Isaiah 19, verse 16. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh of hosts, which he shaketh over it. Because again, this is the Lord's will. This is part of, of, of his agenda, his plan. This is the Lord showing you that, look, you're not in control. I'm in control. I got these people doing this for my benefit. But again, the, 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 the people in this world, especially here in Babylon, are so goddamn proud, uh, 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 so much in a zombie-like mindset that they don't even realize this is the Lord's doing. But we do. Okay, so what does that mean for us? Let's, let's jump back to Luke real quick. Luke chapter 6. What does that mean for the, for the elect, which we hope and pray to be? Or better yet, the hopeful elect. Let's say it like that. Salakia. This is the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. I don't mean y'all didn't hear what I just read. Let me read this again, because this is your pa. Luke 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye. That hunger now. And what do we hunger for? Righteousness. Okay? Uh, 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 for uh, the will and the spirit and the instructions of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to be practiced and accomplished and pushed forth on the earth. Okay? As, as Yahweh Shai, uh, when he was himself and when he was Solomon and when Job said, we delight in the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, as our daily meats, man, as our nourishment. Okay, that's what we prevail on, not just food, okay, which we need food to live. We need certain uh, vitamins and minerals and fibers and stuff for our body to operate and to be healthy, yes. But the real benefits, the real food, the real nourishment are these words of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, which we're getting fed daily. So every day you're getting filled with these words. Okay, you're being comforted by these precepts from Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, from on high. And we're being filled. Okay, we have the remedy, the answers, how everything is going to be resolved. Luke 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, which we hunger every single damn hellish day that we wake up in this vexation kingdom it's like a queendom for ye shall be filled and that's why our brothers are putting up lessons left and right you're being filled left and right blessed are ye that weep now and we're weeping do you, do you think these lessons are not us weeping we're weeping when we pray we're weeping okay when I, the, the first prayer when i get up i'm sending up curses on this bitch man that's weeping to the lord man when I ask the Lord to protect us, to, to uh, 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 embrace us, to uh, have us speak his words and, and to uh, 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 increase increase the knowledge and to destroy this place, that's weeping, man. That's pleading. That's begging to him. What we do daily, man. Right now, what you're hearing is me weeping. You can hear the pain in my voice, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it, man. I fucking hate waking up going to the goddamn plantation to work for these fucking crackers, man. I hate this fucking place, man. We kings, priests, princesses, man. I can't wait for the Lord to destroy this piece of shit captivity, man. I hate it, man. And if you ain't in the right spirit, man, why are you here, man? Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. And we're going to laugh when the Lord starts to bring the hellish conditions. When, when we see more people crying, begging and pleading for help from the government, but not from Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You deserve what you get. Point blank, period. And let's close out. Because what's going to be the outcome? Because it's only going to get worse, man. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to intensify. It's only going to increase. And call Holo Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Kodash when he brings it. And we hope he brings it quick expeditiously as that nigga ti say expeditiously if i'm saying it correctly okay it's the book of second edris chapter 15 starting off at verse 57 
Thy children shall die of hunger. Because again, these ports bring in a lot of stuff, even food. Because everything that, that basically here in a, uh, Babylon the Great, aka America, is imported. You have a few things that are made here that are actually just shipped from, you know, certain states and stuff like that, maybe in house in that certain state, but majority of the stuff is imported from the ports from different places. Okay. Okay. Look at certain things that's made in your car. They're made from different, uh, 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 countries. Okay. Even your fucking shoes is made in what China, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, certain clothes and stuff like that is not made here in America. Okay. A lot of stuff is imported. Okay. Thy children shall die of hunger. Because again, also too, you know, you have inflation of food. And also they have, they say, they've been saying, Salaki, they've been saying for a while that there's um, a shortage on food, which is being manufactured, you know, which is obviously, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai doing it, but he's putting the spirit on these devils to, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, hoard uh, most of the food for themselves and, you know, only leave a certain portion out uh, 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 for um, the civilization, okay? Thy children shall die of hunger and thou shalt fall through the sword, okay? Because again, there's going to be sedition amongst men. You're going to have people be taking uh, justice upon, uh, 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 uh. you're going to have people take justice justice with their own hands, Salakia. Thy city shall be broken down, you know, again, which is happening, man. And we see it. The cities are being, you know, completely uh, uh, broken down. Uh, 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 what is that word I'm looking for? Salakia, economically, um, you know, um, uh, 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 <laughs> in all types, all types of ways, man. Again, you know, it's you know with jobs and all that and everything else, man. You know, you got uh, uh, as they say, uh, migrants, aliens, as they call them, coming. You know, you got a, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, tent cities and a lot of places too, man. You know. And all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. And what is the field? The field is the whole earth. Okay, but you know, uh, uh, especially here in Babylon, there's a great field where a lot of stuff is going to happen, man. Okay, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of massacre, a lot of uh, affliction, a lot of uh, 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 love waxing cold. Okay, a lot of psychopaths out here. Okay, ain't going to be no pity. Ain't going to be no uh, sparing. Ain't going to be no uh, remorse in these days to come, man. Okay, it's going to get so worse right here. Verse 58. That they be in the mountains, you're going to have people fleeing to the mountains, fleeing to the woods, all types of places to get away from society to to, to, uh, to try to, to protect themselves, man, to not be amongst the cities. OK, because you're going to have a lot. I have a lot of stuff happening in those inner cities, in the major cities, you know, Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Texas, Houston, California, you know, a lot of those major cities. In Babylon the Great, you're going to have a lot of stuff happening. And again, also in the inner cities in, this, in, the, in these states. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. Because again, you think you're going to have enough food stored up. When, you know, again, a lot of these Americans, because let's, let's, let's look at this, man. You have a lot of Americans that's making TikToks, YouTube videos, going to restaurants, sitting in a fucking car, eating all types of slop. Okay, being gluttons and shit. A lot of these people are not going to survive, man. Especially when it comes to food, because they 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 don't they they've never in their life done any type of fasting, man. Never, any type of fasting or nothing like that. A lot of these Babylonians, these Americans, love to eat. Okay, so they're gonna a lot of people are gonna die of hunger, man. And it also says in the Book of Lamentations that it's better off to be slain by the sword than to die of hunger, man. Okay, uh, of famine. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. And eat their own flesh, okay? Cannibalism, that's coming back, okay? Literally, cannibalism. So you, it's, it's literally going to be every man for himself, man, okay? It's going to get so bad out here that you're going to have people eating their children. Shit, you're going to have the children eating the parents, man. You know, ganging up and all that, man. That's how bad it's going to get out here, man. And again, it's, it's all part of the, the judgments, the recompense, and the... Uh, the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but he's going to put the spirit on these devils to uh, 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 manifest this, man. Okay? And drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. And we cannot wait for the Lord to bring forth these things, man. That's why I hope and pray that these ports, 
you know they they uh continue to 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 move forward man they, they continue to uh you know the, the situation the situation salaki i'm excited that's why i'm talking fast and studying i'm i'm excited and i'm i'm in the spirit salaki i hope and pray that these situations continue to evolve to escalate to uh, increase to uh get get intense man and everything that the lord said he's going to bring forth i hope everything gets worse man worse and worse and worse man Okay, but I don't want to rock this out, man. I hope and I pray that this was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true, sincere Akim Wa Akwaf. So, with that, I'm just gonna say, call Halayim La Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rekak Kodash Wathawada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rekak Kodash for putting the spirit on me. My elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Ratzaza into the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say Shabbat Shalom. They will halt their operations by 6 p.m. Monday, meaning no trucks, trains, or ships coming in or out. Argawal says the average consumer won't likely notice anything if the strike is short-lived, but prices could start rising if it's prolonged. Among the union's demands is calling for a total ban of automation cranes, gates, and container movements. They also want higher pay. Barry just hopes positive news comes soon to keep the wheels rolling. We 